welcome back to my new video this video we are going to be talking about chat templating and um, this is going to consist of system prompt templates and then human message prompt template okay so don't get scared i'm going to show you what all this thing means so before we start i'm going to mark down something to call chat templating okay and um we are going to do some few imports that is going to be first we import the open ai keys and then the second is going to be um we're going to paste in this few import so we're going to import chat open ai um it's a wrapper around open ai chat la large language models um also we have to import llm chain and um finally we have to import chat prompt template system message prompt template as well as human message prompt template okay so the system um chat template is given to the system or the large language model and then the human message prompt template is the one that we the user gives to the large language model okay so we are going to start um with let me run this once we do this i'm going to say chat is equal to chat open ai and then i'm going to pass in the temperature because zero and then i'm going to say template is equal to you are um helpful assistant that translates whatever to whatever so let's say we want to translate um in lang to out lang okay that is all we want to translate some input language to some output language okay so that is all we're doing here and the next thing we are going to put in there is the sys 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 message as equal to system system message template okay and then we are going to pass we're going to say dot from template okay so the class name system message from template dot the from template and then we'll just pass in um template okay the template we define above okay so that is it and then if we want to consider the human message we're going to say human message template and then we're going to say human template is equal to it's going to be a text and this is going to be human template okay then the last thing we are going to do is the chat prompt it's going to be chat prompt from chat prompt from message chat prompt template from underscore message 
and then we pass in a list of uh, prompts, which is going to be the sys message as well as the human message. Okay, so those are the two things we pass in. So now, finally, we define our chain, which is going to be chain is equal to LLM chain. And this is going to take um, a callback, LLM, and then the base prompt. Okay, so we are just going to pass in the prompt and as well as the LLM. So the LLM is equal to chart and then the prompt is equal to chart prompt. Okay. Once we do this, we can now print chain dot run. And here we are going to pass in input in lang is equal to let's say English to this is going to be the out lang is going to be let's say German okay or oh, let's put Spanish and see how the results will look like. And then finally, we have to pass in our text, which is the human text. So we're going to say, um, I just love traveling. Okay. So that is what we want to translate. Okay, so you can see this text here would be replaced here. And then the English will be replaced here. And then the Spanish will be replaced here. So this is what we call the system human prompt templating. Okay. Or we can call it chat templating. Okay. So that is that. So I'm going to run this and see what we get. See, this is the transfer translation. I don't know. I, I can't pronounce this, but let's say let's translate to Russian and see what we get. You see, I just love traveling. See, this is the Russian version. Okay, let's look at the French version. Je suis passionné du voyage. I, I'm not good at French. I don't speak French, so I think I've done my best trying to <laughs> speak this. Uh, so that is it. Um, which other language can we consider? Let's say, let's say Italian. You see, this is the Italian version. So all this language, if you're on this platform and you understand any of this and you think is the right um, translation, put your comment in the comment section below. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.